Hey there! Wanted to include a quick notice at the top of the episode before we get into it. There are several content warnings for this episode with timestamps in the description. Please take a moment to check those out to make sure that you take care of yourself. In other news, please stay to the end of the credits to hear the trailer for Tal Minear's Side Questing, a fantasy podcast about avoiding the main plot. And without further ado, here's the long awaited episode three of Transmission Folklore. Enjoy. Hello? Jesus, wake up! Wake up, wake up, wake up! Ugh, you went to sleep like three hours ago. You're not even really asleep. Crest Almighty, come on! Wake up! Wake up! Jesus, wake up! <laughs> Ugh. Good. You're awake now. Well, yeah, I'm awake. Golly, what's the matter with you? We have to go. Now. I'm trying to sleep. And we can't stay here anymore. We can't sleep. I have to go. Why? I saw them. Who? Who do you think? Who are we running from? Christ, can't we get a decent rest? No, we can't. Come on, metal to the pedal. I want to speed down the highway. The Lavender Lemonade Collective presents Transmission Folklore. What happened? I don't want to talk about it. You've been completely silent for 20 minutes. I have not. We've only been driving for 18. And you've been silent for all of them. What happened? I don't want to talk about it, okay? We're not that close. You're gonna have to talk about it sometime. That kind of stuff festers. No, it doesn't. It sits and it waits and we're, we're not having this conversation. You don't know me and I don't know you just because we have breakfast two booths across from each other every other day doesn't make us close. It just puts us in proximity to one another. I've been thinking about what I know about sirens. They don't... They don't debate. I said that when you first woke up. I, I said that I thought you guys were debating. Sirens sing. I mean, that's where we get the phrase siren song or whatever. So they sang to you. You can tell me what it was about. You were there, weren't you? I didn't... I, I didn't actually hear anything. I just... I, I heard blood in my ears when they were drowning you, and that freaked me out, so I just freaked out before I could hear anything. Oh, you were sound so goddamn pathetic. Excuse me? You didn't hear the song because you were having a panic attack? You're having a panic attack right now, even if you won't fucking admit it, okay? You can be the broody, silent type, but you are literally struggling to breathe, and you're staring straight ahead at nothing. Mine is just blood in my ears. I can't hear. Panic attacks just happen. Don't be a dick. Symptoms are different with everyone. Oh my god. What? They didn't... What? Earlier, when you were talking... When you were talking to me when I first woke up... You said you ran into the water. You grabbed me from the water. Yeah? From inside the bayou. Next to them. Yeah, I guess. Oh my god, I didn't think of this earlier. How much do you know about sirens? I've seen Aquamarine in H2O. Dude, 
The answer is anxiety. What? If, if you're already anxious and you can't hear the siren song... Maybe I am just immune. No one is immune to their song. It can be understood across the board. Even with people who can't hear it, there's underwater sign language. And it's just... The song is understood. Always. But if you can't understand the song... I can't be lured? You're getting it now. So we just make the song incomprehensible. Correct. We have to get to an electronic store. Why? You'll see. This is a dumb idea. It's the best we got. Connect your headphones to your phone. We're just going to be on a constant call in the same car? Look, just for now. We can take the headphones off when I think we've lost them. Okay. This is kind of stupid. Yeah, sure it is. But it's all we got. Right. God, that food truck behind us is giving me a headache. You don't like orange? I'm sorry I called you pathetic. You should be. Thank you for apologizing. Look, I know I'm a dick. I'm trying to be a better person, but... You caught me at the worst time, okay? This whole situation is super fucked. They freak me out. The Siren? Their name is, a uh, Emery. How do you know that? Do you think I just walked into a bayou? No, we know each other. And you know they were... No, not until then. We dated. It ended badly. How badly? Well, they did try to drown me. Yeah, that's that's pretty bad. Emery isn't like... They sing as a profession. They go and they sing and they're sweet. They were sweet. But they also had a lot of opinions and a lot of ugly thoughts. And, and they're gross. That's not a were. That is an is. I cannot stand them anymore, so I broke it off. And now not only do they know you, they want to kill you. I don't know if they want to kill me. I just think they won't stop until they do. Why? I told you. I don't want to talk about it. Look, you don't have to talk about it, but I'm a little freaked out. Because you're right. I don't know you, and you just said you had a relationship with a siren, and that siren tried to kill you like two days ago, and now they're back and you're terrified. I'm not terrified. You are. You're having a panic attack. I am not. I know the symptoms of a panic attack. I didn't ask you to kidnap me. I did not kidnap you. Yeah, you did. I am in this car with you and did not ask to be, and like... Thanks for saving my life or whatever, but also running across the state is a wild goddamn idea. It's not across the state. We're out of the state now. Where are we? Louisiana. We're almost in New Orleans. We're almost at the mouth of the Mississippi? Yeah. You think the largest river in the United States might possibly have some fucking sirens oh N no I, I didn't think about that until just now oh my god we're gonna die pull the car over right now <coughs> are you okay no i'm not okay going to a bunch of angry sirens that's how i think we die how do we know they're angry sirens? I've never known a siren not to be. 
I mean, Emery was angry and... <coughs> How many sirens do you know? I don't know. At least the one. Death is imminent. Then why'd you leave Texas? I... Shit. What? There's a food truck behind us. Where? Again? Right behind us. Big and orange and says Aloha Fish Hawaiian Sushi Fusion. It's been following us for a while. I'm confused. Do you want us to pull over for fusion? That food truck has been following us for like 10 minutes. We're on a highway. There's only one way to go. Look at the driver. Uh, they've got like long, frizzy, auburn hair. Speed! Oh my god. Speed! No one will pull you over. We're in Louisiana. Do laws not exist in Louisiana? They do, but they're altered. Have you been to Louisiana? I've done a lot of stuff. Oh my god. Keep speeding. It's hard to think with you yelling. If you don't want to speed, we'll switch seats. Oh my god, how fast do you speed? Real fast. You're never driving my car. Okay. I'm going to try to lose them. That's a good plan. Lose them, please. Dear god, you're so mean. I'm not mean, I'm stressed out. You're stressed out in a mean way. Look, let's just keep driving. Okay. We lost them yet? I think so. We're fucked. So, so fucked. We're not fucked. We just have to figure out why do they want to kill you and then make them not want to kill you? Fucked. I'm very, very killable. Shut up. We aren't fucked. Let's pull over somewhere. There's a rest stop. It's right on the Mississippi. Like, we can we can be quick there. I don't want to go to a rest stop. Let's go to a hotel. A hotel? Like one of those creepy ones that don't ask questions. If someone asked me anything, I'd cry right now. Yeah. Okay. I saw a sign. Take the next exit. Are you okay? I'm fucking terrified. Happy? I'm panicked. This is what a panic attack looks like. <laughs> no, I, I don't want you to be scared. I don't want to be either. I just live like this, okay? I'll ask for a room as high as we can. Sounds good. Further from the water? Do you know how long they need to be away from the water? <sighs> Me and Emery were never together more than, like, 16 hours? That's... specific. I asked them to stay over a couple of nights. They didn't want to. Okay. They're not gonna get anywhere near you, okay? I promise. Don't promise something you can't keep. It's hot in here. Stifling! Gonna kill me hot! I'll check the coolant in the morning. I thought you said you knew something about cars. I do. This is all just... new. Yeah. Real fucking new. Uh... There's a Motel 6 by the river. I can go a little further away if you want. That's fine. As long as we stay on the top floor. I like the Mississippi. It's kind of pretty at night. Are there not lights out here? No, there are. Casinos and gambling and all that is bright. But the Mississippi is always this murky water you can turn back to. Like, the water is brown and messy and kind of gorgeous in a way I can't, like, describe with people words. Sometimes you want to know what infinity times infinity is. 
and you look at the water and see all these little droplets and you see how they make one big flowing river and that's it that's infinity times infinity that's kind of beautiful I didn't realize you were poetic. I'm not, but okay. You said something low-key poetic. <clears throat> it wasn't. Infinity times infinity. <laughs> and that's poetic. It's about a goddamn river. Which you find very attractive. I don't want to fuck a river if that's what you're saying. No, you find the idea of the river attractive. You have this whole infinity speech. Just find the motel. You like things. I don't like th- anything. I'm a stone cold monster, bitch. That's not true. Find a goddamn motel or I'll drive. <laughs> okay. I am a monster, bitch. Sure you are. I'm a mean too. God, you're insufferable. I think we're getting along better. Yeah, glad this kidnapping became something like a friendship. It's not a kidnapping. You can leave. I'll drive you back. I don't want to go back. Then it's not a kidnapping. There's got to be something good on the radio now. kind of bops. You'll float away, oh glory, you'll float away. When you die, sorrel hooks and I'll say bye, you'll float away. This episode of Transmission Folklore was written by Nick Coates. Carter is voiced by Orion Ibert. Sorrel is voiced by Mick Coates. Emery is voiced by Tal Minier. This episode was edited by Orion Ibert. Special thanks to our supporters on Patreon and Coffee. You can support us by following us at patreon.com slash lavenderlem or follow us at on Twitter or Facebook at lavenderlem. Make sure you check out our new website at transmissionfolklore.com. This episode's cryptid is the Refreshing Yeti. Stay frosty, or else. have made a decision. It's a big, scary decision. One I fantasized about making, but could never bring myself to actually do. I love this little village I grew up in. It's full of places and people I love to see every day. It's wonderful here, beautiful and peaceful and comforting. But I'm getting restless. I'm getting tired of seeing the same places and same people every day. I can't spend the rest of my life here. So, I've made the decision to leave. After arriving at this decision, I sent messages to people in other towns, looking for jobs that a brand new adventure could do. And it turns out, there's a lot. I now have a number of places to visit and a bunch of different things to do with them. It's all very exciting. One of my friends wants some help driving down tourism in her village. There's a king who wants someone to rescue his daughter. A few towns over, someone is missing a beloved pet. Another friend sent me word of a town with mysterious, terrifying apparitions. Someone else filled me in on rumors of a mad scientist that's been trying to hire an apprentice. And a former neighbor of mine just wants me to come say hi. I guess they're lonely. 
no job is too small. And if I'm feeling brave, I might even take on some of the big ones too. This started out as a pipe dream, but I think I can actually do it. It's gonna happen. I'm finally going on my grand adventure. Everyone else I know who has set off on a grand adventure has found one big quest to do. A life's calling, a single goal. But that's never been for me. I want to see the world, meet people, try new things, do everything. And it's time. It's really time. Let's go. Side questing is a scripted fantasy podcast about avoiding the main plot and doing side quests instead. It's told from the point of view of Ryan, who goes on a new side quest each episode. Come join us on this adventure. We'll be stopping by in your podcatcher soon.